I was actually my first offer ever. And then I went on this phase where I thought I would play volleyball in college. So it took me a little bit to kind of figure out what, did I, what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. But the coaches were super supportive. And what really set um, Iowa on my radar was just when they came to my home visit and my parents cooked all the coaches dinner. And we just had a really great time. And I was like, why don't I have a great time for four more years? And it's kind of how I got here. So left-handed shot is up and good by Amanda Olinger. Amanda Olinger showing her fancy skills today. Academics has always been a really big focus of mine. And I've always wanted to be academically and athletically challenged. And I really felt like the College of Engineering offered that for me as well as athletically. And then when I came into Carver, it just kind of sealed the deal. I mean, this arena is amazing. The support is amazing. The community is just unbelievable. I couldn't be more pleased with the support I've had over my last four years. Um, I honestly couldn't be more different than Mackenzie and Doyle, you know, like they bring a lot different energy than I do. And frankly, we both had um, different experiences on the court, but I feel this connection with them, you know, just being in the same class, going through all the things that we've gone through. Um, I'm so happy that they're my teammates and they're so supportive. and. Um, we just really play well together, you know. I've played with Mac for probably seven or eight years now, way back in AAU, and then Kathleen came in um, after her whole commitment thing, and honestly, we all just blended really well. And then there's Paula, who's from Spain, and European and whatever she does, and she's become one of my best friends, and just so lucky to have people like that in your life, along with the rest of the team. Linger is just in beast mode right now, and she's not having it. My best memory is most definitely winning the Big Ten Championship. I mean, going back to that game basketball-wise, there's just so many things that went wrong. <laughs> and somehow we still managed to win and have the confetti, confetti go to off and hold the Big Ten trophy and get the hats and the t-shirts. And it's just a sense of pride, you know, like that will be in Iowa history books forever. And you got to leave your mark on that. And I think that's so amazing. And not many people can say that they've had the opportunity to do that. Showing up every single day and being surrounded by ambitious people. You know, we are all different. We're so diverse. We come from extremely different backgrounds, whether it's country, family, um, race, you know, whatever the case is. But somehow we all buy into the same mission, the same goal, and we come out here and we play basketball together. And I think that's something really special. And you can't find that sort of um, camaraderie everywhere. And that's what I'm going to miss the most. You know, just thank you for the coaching staff for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for all my teammates for giving me endless support on the days when I needed it the most and the days when I didn't. Uh, my parents for driving me hours and hours and spending money on this dream that I had and just buying into it even when it seemed really dim. Um, and the community in general just really supporting me and being from Cedar Rapids, it means so much to see all these people I know and all the people I don't know in the crowd and I'm just really really thankful for all the people who have touched my life and all the people that have made me who I am today. Go Hawks!